hot. Are we hot today? We're going to talk about American hot wax, right? <laughs> I just want to thank uh, Wayne's girls, Mary Grace and Rosa and Karen. You're going to thank me for saying that the Belmonts have teamed up with George David Weiss, who's president of the Songwriters Guild of America, to create. You're going to tell me, Mr. Weiss, what have you gentlemen created? Help me, help me finish that sentence. It's only you can finish it, all right? Well, we created an album for Christmas for all time. Christmas and Hanukkah together. I want to drop the needle anywhere, just by way of an intro, anywhere at all, on a sample of the Belmonts and Mr. Weiss's The Season of Harmony. A mini, mini, a sample. <laughs> Gentlemen, I want to ask Mr. Weiss if he might do the honors before I introduce Mr. Jesse Nash. Would you introduce two of the charming gentlemen alongside yeah, the, you? The two charming gentlemen beside me are Fred, Alano, and Warren Gratis. How you doing, I'll Joe? be great, Joe. Warren, back here Warren, again Warren as usual. I could I could be wrong, but were you gentlemen part of a very fateful rock and roll tour? Oh yes, yes we, we were. were. And that was why don't you? Uh, I want to hear about it. And uh, I mean, this is Americana, right, George? You bet. A little bit, a uh, little bit about that uh, sad event. Well, we were on tour with uh, the Big Bopper, as you know, Buddy Holly and uh, Richie Valens. And uh, somewhere in the middle of that tour, it, the tour didn't end, but the, the fellas, it is history, did uh, end up taking a plane and fatefully died in a plane crash. Your music, I know, has been heard in many, many movies, including, I would assume, the Buddy Holly story. Well, we are mentioned in there, yeah. Right. What, what are some of the movies that... L let me pull a few names out of there. I get flash reactions. Can I? Warren, sure. how about uh, Murray the K? <laughs> yeah, Murray the K, sure. He introduced our first record, I Wonder Why. Did your first record, uh, as I recall, it went directly to the top, straight away, right? Straight away. Right. Yes. How about uh, Alan Freed? Well, Alan Freed has very... We have very fond memory with, with him. Uh, we used to do all the shows, all the rock and roll shows at the uh, Brooklyn Paramount, the Lowy State. We used to do five or six uh, shows uh, a day. Start at 10 in the morning, end up 1, 2 in the morning. We figured it out. We were making about 18 cents an hour. It was great. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. <clears throat> How much of today's music, let's say, could be traced back to you kind of pioneers? I mean, uh, to the Belmonts, to Elvis Presley, to, uh, to the Big Bopper, to... Uh, you tell me. I mean, can't can't much of today's top forty go back to? Well, sure. That influence is uh, is always there, and uh, I'm, I'm sure will always be there. You know, right. rockabilly and that type. Right. Of I, I think sure. Huey Lewis fellows, in the news. This yeah. group, the Belmonts, is probably they're the, probably one of the longest longevity groups of all. Not only were they big then, but they've continued, and now they're big. This last album that he did, that song, the annual Animal Christmas Ball. Thank the good Lord, which I wrote. I mean, it was, it's just, it's almost a million copies. Ladies and gentlemen, opposite the Belmonts, who are opposite Mr. George David Weiss, is Mr. Music, the man who knows what's happening oh, before wow. it happens. <laughs> His name is Jesse Nash. He writes for about 19,000 papers. He wrote a few articles about what this program. What does my arm hurt? Jesse, what, what goes through your mind <laughs> alongside? <laughs> this is... Well, you know, I want to know, what, what's the, what was the inspiration behind doing this Christmas record? It's good a question. great idea. Yeah, well, it, I think it was actually these boys' idea, and then they contacted me. Tell them about it. Sure, Fre Freddie had the idea to do a Christmas album, and he started thinking of some titles, and I think your first title was uh, The Eight Days of Hanukkah, Eight Days wasn't of it? Hanukkah would be a natural. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're my father? Was <laughs> it's true, though. Yeah. That was really Warren, first Warren. Song. Yes, sir. Uh, this yeah. man is building you up, and you certainly... By yeah. the way, you, you mentioned Elvis Presley, yeah. and he wrote uh, Elvis's biggest record of all time, probably the biggest record of all time. Uh, how could we not how could we not mention if you're in the mood a few of the, th this man has written some of the most immortal songs at one time didn't you, uh, I, I mean you were on my show how many times in those days oh, everything he wrote was the biggest song in the country for about three four months N name a few don't be shy I mean, just a few well, well, I, go ahead 
Well, starting back there was, uh, oh, what it seemed to be, surrender, rumors of flying, the wheel of fortune, cross over the bridge, I don't see me in your eyes anymore. But then coming up, Mr. Wonderful, Too Close for Comfort, the Presley, uh, Cano Falling in Love, The Lion Sleeps Tonight, could The you Token. Could you believe... He doesn't write just plain songs. Everything George has written is a classic <laughs> and a standard. They're just friends of mine, that's all. No, but I'll tell you what I'm very proud about, the, uh, the, in Good Morning Vietnam, uh, Robin Williams put a song of mine into it that I wrote for the great Satchmo, Louis Armstrong, What a Wonderful World. And that song came back this year like, you know, a smash after all these years and brought Satchmo to the recognition, again, of people who had never heard of him, the new generation, which made me very proud. I know that people are saying Joe Franklin is gushing again, but how could I not gush when I sit alongside the man who wrote <laughs> those kind of songs, right, gentlemen? I feel it's exactly. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, now, do me a little bit of memory lane uh, favor. Uh, uh, a few of the uh, previous titles of, of the Belmont albums. The first one was called Dion and the Belmonts, I would Dion assume. Dion and the Belmonts, we sang with a fellow called Dion. Uh -huh. He's going to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes, he is. Yeah, How could he not be? Album, I saw him coming out in February. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. Yeah. A few more of those titles, uh, gentlemen. A few. Uh, I, I must have seen. Well, some of the recordings that we had, as you know, "Teenager in Love," uh, "I Wonder Why," "Where or When," "No One Knows," "Don't Pity Me." It's incredible. And the first record ever went to the very top of the charts. The beginning of the beginning, right? Yeah. And how'd you meet Mr. Weiss? It was, uh... Well, we we know George for an awfully long time, and we know his music an awfully long time. We've uh, we worked with each other on occasion on, on different. Bits of material. Jesse, you going to review them in the column? Why not? Sure. Okay. I mean, I tell you, I, 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 the, I, the, the Christmas record is, is, per, is a, it's a perfect uh, holiday gift. I think, uh, you know, every, every uh, parent in town should be buying it. Jesse, you know, the <laughs> one interesting thing, besides the, the hit already of Annual Animal mm -hmm. Christmas Ball, we wrote a song in it to close the album, which is a love song to the old year. I think that's never been done before. May I do one now? Or oh, that one now? It. Yeah, it's called 0365. I'd love if you did it. Ladies and gentlemen, a man makes no rounds, travels no circuits. One of my... Uh, <laughs> do we go back a few years, <laughs> right? Yeah, you George David Weiss has written that the Belmonts can be seen and heard in such movies as La Bamba, Peggy Sue Got Married, The Buddy Holly Story, American Graffiti, The Junk Man, The Lords of Flashwood, The Flatbush, Hollywood Nights, The Wanderers, Diner, uh, and it goes on and on and on. And I can only say that... Uh, I can't believe it. You want to see one photograph from the library of, uh, sure. of Mr. <laughs> Jesse Nash? This was Nash? taken the other night. That's Joe Cocker with a, a great new artist on Arista Records named Jeff Healy. Is that his real name, gentlemen? Joe Cocker? Joe Cocker, yeah. I, I thought it was Jim Cocker. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, uh, that was at the bottom line. He, what's amazing about Jeff Healy, Jeff Healy is blind and he plays the guitar on his lap. Oh, and he really? plays a flat top. And uh, for a man who can't, he's only 21 years old. Guys like B.B. King have, uh, have said uh, this, is the, this is the future of blues. i got to look him uh, up. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, amazing, sure. man. He's totally Ladies amazing. and gentlemen, when uh, Big Mouth, uh, who are red hot... Music Mouth and Big Mouth, Big huh? Mouth. When they found out <laughs> that the Belmonts were here, they, even they began to tremble. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I'm gushing. Ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of one of the songs again from the Season of Harmony done by the Belmonts, written by Mr. Weiss and sung by the incredible Belmonts. A touch, a sample. It goes like this. Gentlemen, I'm proud of you. It's hard to believe it's the end. Wow. Wow. Four. 